Um, we now do have a little bit of Zorb football as well. Or is it just Zorb ball? You have this in Cardiff also. We, we do, and I, I believe you guys are coming down to uh, to play us at some stage after Christmas, which... I am very much looking forward to. I haven't been to the new rink yet either, so... I need oh, to you, you've got to come. You, you won't be taking any pictures and send them out, but you'll have a lovely time there. <laughs> no, for sure, and... Uh, I'm assuming we'll have your hospitality as well on Ice Time TV. You, you certainly will. You'll have uh, traditional Clark's pie from Cardiff and a nice cup of tea. Come oh, and enjoy yourself. Wunderbar. So we have the blue and the pink team in Zorb Ball. Sometimes you have the team names. I'm not sure who these guys are. We had the, the ferrets or the squirrels or something last <laughs> time. The ball seems to be in the corner. The blue team trying to clear it long. Have you played this yet? I have, Ed. I want to publicize this as, as nationally and as wide as possible. We played <laughs> against the owners of... Uh, oh, great, David Hedersay. We played against yeah. the owners of the Devils uh, a few weeks back, and there was a little bit of rivalry going on. They wore spikes that night. They were, they're veteran experience. Oh, wow. They wore spikes, and they defeated us, but we've demanded a rematch. What's this, like uh, like AstroTurf shoes? Like, like golf shoes. Oh, like golf They are golf, so, uh, you know, <laughs> obviously me being the supreme athlete that I am, I was surprised I couldn't move them, but I, I certainly couldn't. Oh, I have some golf shoes somewhere. I might have to wear those when I come to Cardiff. That's a nice tip. The uh, pink team get a go. They were called the Crazy Crew. It is a lot of fun, though, uh, Ed. Oh, it it's, looks uh, great. And you try to run and your feet don't quite belong to you, but uh, you, you have a great laugh out there. Oh, yeah, I bet. Everyone a little bit hesitant to get it going after that goal. I wonder how a Zorb Ball fight would work. Do you just kind of headbutt each other? I think so, yeah. So the first man gets concussion and then you're done, so... I was going to say, do you just head each other in the balls, but... <laughs> I don't know whether that's contentious enough, I've said it. It's there's out no, there. There's no taking that back now. There's the Pinks might get another goal here, and they do... Yes. Beautiful finish, Dan. Huh? Very nice. Yeah, number 27 for the uh, the Pink team. I think that's two goals on the night, and uh, a couple of lovely finishes. Looking for a natural hat-trick. I think the Devil's going to look to sign him up for the second period. Yeah, yeah. I wonder how he is with a stick in his hands. Unfortunately, he wouldn't be able to kick any in. So, a good bit of physical play from number 88. Scorches. Having a bit of fun. So, who's going to be your third man then, Ed? I understand it's uh, yourself and Stu. Who's going to be the third man of the team? You know what? I hadn't thought about that. Um, you know what? We have Swiss Mike. We have Karen as well. We Car are one of the crew. One of the crew. Oh, Karen looks feisty. I'm not sure I want Karen on the ice. Oh, that's why we want her on the ice. But, you know, like we said earlier, Swiss Mike was uh, almost a, a junior A Swiss League goalie, but decided to go get an education instead. So we could just have him, uh, we could just have him standing in net with a ball and get him to do his thing. I was terrible at football at school. Hockey was always my thing, funnily enough. It's like watching the Steelers in the Panthers, is it? Well, I pretend to be a footballer, Ed, but it's... Oh, yeah. uh, as I get older, it's harder to do that impression. <laughs> Cardiff City fan? For my sins, yeah. So obviously I don't like football at all, being a Cardiff City fan. <laughs> <laughs> we have the similar thing in Coventry with the Sky Blues at the minute. Just when you think they're getting back to uh, winning ways, they lose three on the bounce. You, <laughs> you're in the relegation zone before you can say Rico Arena. I like that. What can I publish? <laughs> what can I say? I get in trouble. <laughs> It's okay, I don't think the Sky Blues watch our webcasts. As that one bounces awkwardly off the uh, glass, Scorch is going to go and pop it in for the blue team. Ed, this is pretty intense, isn't it? We, we normally do about 90 seconds in Cardiff, but these guys have been out there for a, a five-minute shift. I'd go to, I, if I was in one of those things, I'd want to grab a shower after this and, a, and an energy drink and a banana. And then you have to sit through 40 minutes of hockey. Stinky and sweaty is uh, our number 27 misses and then checks a girl. He's a gentleman. I didn't think that was very cricket. Maybe Scorch will have a word, but oh, that is that. So ball, it's a uh, good game. 2-0 to blue or something. Or something. Right, we're going to go quiet for about 10 minutes and then we'll bring you the second period of tonight's main event between the Genting Casino, Coventry Blaze and the Cardiff Devils. What have you got yourself into, John, eh? Enjoying every minute, Ed.